the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible is one story. It's holy enough in our lives. Day 123, Proverbs 32-31 A woman more precious than pearls. Eager talked about God's existence through deep insight into nature, and Lemuel's mother taught the way kings were to go. First point, Eager prayed for two things. Ego was someone who considered God's reputation. God therefore valued and blessed Ego. Ego prayed that unnecessary and false thoughts would leave his mind. Ego also prayed to God to not make him either too rich or too poor. The most important part of his prayer was his longing to praise God and to make sure God's name does not become belittled. Ego was someone who knew his own limitations, but this is where his wisdom started. He was able to trust and seek in God because he knew his limitations and weaknesses. Second point, Ego introduced the four things which seem small but are wise. Ego spoke of four things on earth that are small but wise. Antis, hyraxes, locusts, and lizards. These things appear extremely small, but they are indeed wise. Ego therefore pride that his limitations could be filled with wisdom and that he too could become wise like these four things that seem small. Four things on us are small, yet they are extremely wise. Antis are creatures of little strength, yet they store up their food in the summer. Hyraxes are creatures of little power, yet they make their home in the cracks. Locusts have no king, yet they advance together in ranks. A wizard can be caught with a hand yet it is found in king's palaces. Third point, Lemuel's mother advised two things to her son. Lemuel's mother asked where her son was going to spend his strength. The position of a king came with great power, and it also came with great wealth. Thus, it was important in deciding how the king was going to use his wealth and power. His mother emphasized the important role of women and how influential they can be. Solomon's later years were shaken by women, so this was indeed important advice. Lemuel's mother bore him by offering him to God and she hoped that he would become a king pleading to God. Thus, she gave him these two advices. Listen, my son. Listen, son of my womb. Listen, my son, the answer to my prayers. Do not spend your strength on women. You are bigger on those who ruin kings. Fourth point, it is the king's duties to judge correctly. The Bible teaches that battles and trials belong to God. To look at a few cases in the Bible, the first would be David. David reigned over all Israel, doing what was just and right for all his people. Solomon was able to follow in his father's footsteps. Jehoshaphat also focused on trials and made sure they were just and righteous. Another example is the trial of Ezra, who even impressed the king of Persia. He was given control over the whole Levant region. Fifth point, a woman who is more valuable than pearls saves her family and even the world. 
the kings of Israel were expected to focus on a kingdom of priests and make sure that they were leading the people according to the laws. But this meant that other areas could lack. This is where the role of woman came in. A wise woman who can help her husband to do the best he can. A few wise women are recorded in the Bible. One is Moses' sister Miriam. There is also Rahab, Deborah, Abigail, and Esther. All these women played excellent roles in helping their community with their wisdom. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 